Today is actually one of my favorite days out of the month up here at Speedway Harley Davidson, and that is because of an event I actually started, which is bikes and breakfast at Speedway Harley Davidson. It's usually a pretty good turnout. Um, I know Sturgis is still going on this weekend, but we're hoping the people that didn't get to make it to Sturgis and Throttle Thursdays in Morrisville didn't happen this week. So we're hoping we got a bunch of people with that itch to bring those bikes out and we get a pretty good turnout. We're gonna have DJ Diaz up here, a couple of models. We got a bike competition going on and some free breakfast, which I usually don't partake in because I don't eat meat and eggs and things like that. With me just coming from Milwaukee, which that video is still gonna come out here soon to the Milwaukee homecoming, my expectation for motorcycle events have elevated quite a bit because it was an amazing turnout up there and good times with some good people. My goal when I initially had the thought of this SHD Bikes and Breakfast was to make it almost as big as like that once a month cars and coffee where everyone's coming out, all different types of motorcycles, sport bikes, dual sports, dirt bikes, Harley Davidsons, um, just cruisers, just every type of motorcycle you could possibly think of showing up. We haven't got to that point yet, but we have grown quite a bit. And my goal is by next year to have this thing seriously popping. But let's get on this highway. Oh, I got caught by the fucking light, man. No, God, no, God, please, no, no. There we go. Now I can calm down. <laughs> let's get on this highway and get up here. I'm running a little behind. <laughs> I got lucky. Polaris is out here. All right, so I need some cones, table, and those tents. Bikes and Breakfast has officially started. We got a few bikes entered into the competition right now. We've got this Tri-Glide. Looks real comfy, don't it? The employee bikes are right here. This is Eric's bike, Brady's bike, Jake's bike, my bike, Greg's bike. We got Michelle up here having a good time. I guess this is her song. <laughs> hey, we're having fun. I'm vote for one of our staff members to win best in show. All right, so they're actually walking around right now judging on uh, the bikes for this bike competition. This is Al's bike, one of our service riders. These are some of the bikes that have entered into the competition. Again, that's Eric's bike, Brady, Jake, I swear I love his Dyna. Dream, which is my bike, Greg's Dyna. We got this cool looking roll glide right here. I swear I love ninjas. This baby looks good. And then you got more bikes over there on the other side too. Let's walk through the parking lot because there's a lot of people who didn't even enter into the bike show. There are so many bikes out here. Plenty of baggers. Plenty of opportunities to enter into the bagger bro category. Some people just don't like entering their bikes into the bike competition. And there's some really nice ones out here too. Like, look at this bike. That thing look good. What's going on? You should have entered your bike into the bike competition. Uh, you should have entered your bike into the bike competition. No trophies though, and it's free to enter. It looks good. Huh? They about to judge now. Oh, y'all about to leave? Yeah. See? You take a ride, man. That, you know, that's mine over there, the CVO. Which one? Right here. No, that's my boy bike right, right here. Right in the front? The real one. Yeah, you the definitely should have entered that. Okay. Yeah. You see that Dallas Cowboy sticker yeah. back? Y'all gonna have to come next, uh, next month then. Okay. And actually stay and enter the bikes in. Okay. Second Saturday of next month. Okay. Y'all y'all do sound competition too? Uh our sound competition is this month on the 24th. Okay. So I'll come, come out then. I'll come up. Yeah, we got a bunch of trophies in the office for that. Okay. We're doing it on the 24th of this month. All I gotta do is just seal, I gotta just just seal my bags, man. I'm waiting on the stuff to come so I can start uh, sealing the bags up, man. Oh yeah. Almost ready. Oh yeah. Come out. Okay. Definitely. Okay. All right. Good to see you. Yep. Let's see. We got all the bikes right here. There are bikes everywhere. This is what I love to see. Just motorcycles all over the place. It should be about ready to select their bikes. All right, and best staff bike goes to bike number two. Who is bike number two? It's actually Curtis, guys. Yeah! Come on, y'all. He's the one that comes up with all the awards for everybody, so kill him.
All of us, come on. You're getting in it. All right, everybody. Yeah, come on. You gotta back it up. Everybody. Oh. All right, next one is... Best Dinah, isn't it? Best Dinah. All right, we got two more awards to go, guys. Two more. All right, so the Best Dinah Award goes over to Greg's, Greg's bike right here. He's going to go stand by it. It's the Silver Dinah right here, Greg's bike. Greg, come on over for Best Dinah. Give it up for him, guys. Give it up for him. This is Brett's Award. Hype him up a little bit. He's never won anything in his life, he says, so this is his first time. <laughs> One eternity later. Pretty good day. It is a spicy Saturday evening. So to my surprise, I actually ended up winning one of the categories at our bike competition today. And in case y'all are wondering, no, I did not end up voting for myself. We had other people vote and the category I won was picked by um, all of the people who were at the event, all of the customers and the people who were there viewing the event. And I won best staff bike for my Dyna, which makes me pretty excited. It lets me know that I'm not the only one that loves Elmo with XIs on it. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I felt like Jake, who has the Diner Lowrider S with the FXRT fairing and the amount of upgrades he has in that bike should have won and I thought he was gonna win actually. But to my surprise, my bike stood out. Yeah, boy. So that's right. I'm sitting on an award-winning bike, people. It was a great turnout, a great group of people who came out today. So if you're watching this video and you actually made it out to Speedway Harlot Davidson for bikes and breakfast, I thank you for coming out and spending your time with us and having a marvelous time because we definitely had a good time up there. I normally take the back roads but I kind of want to get home quick today. So we's going to take the highs ways and bias ways. Why is my gas light on? I got fuel, cuz. These diners, those gas thingies float. Uh, so hopefully that light go out, cuz I've got damn near half a tank in here. Love that sound, love that noise, make it sound like it growl. I always like to know where some of my subscribers are watching from, or even if you're not a subscriber, if you just happen to stumble upon this video, comment down below exactly what city and state you're sitting in at this very moment or watching this video. And if I see comments saying Charlotte or Concord, North Carolina, and I haven't seen you at one of our bikes and breakfast events shame on you shame on you hope to see you at the next one second saturday of every month but i'm about to hop on this highway make my way to the house get some food and get ready to go to the movies i don't know what movie we're going to see tonight but i'm going to see something so i shall see y'all in the next one Deuces, I love y'all and all that other good stuff that I like to say at the end of the video. Oh yeah, um, subscribe to the channel, bell notification, hit that so you know when I drop another video. What else y'all need to do? Uh, like this video, comment, comment, comment. Commenting is so very important. It helps with the algorithm. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in that next one. Let me uh, light up this highway a little bit.